Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss some basic electronics. So first of all, let's look what is a breadboard. Breadboard is a rectangular board in which you can able to place your components temporarily. That means they are not soldered or that is they are not connected permanently by soldering. You can anytime you can able to unplug the components and you can change the position and fix your component. When you are going to build a small circuit, you can use breadboard because uh, you have only for a small circuit and you can uh, easily identify where you got mistake and you can easily connect it using wires too. So the main advantage of a breadboard is that they are not permanently fixed. They can be taken any time and you can able to use it, you reuse it for many projects also. But the problem comes when you are using a very big circuit that means uh, hundreds or thousands of many elements are there many components are there and these all components requires wires to connect each other so connecting components using breadboard is not a good idea because you will find very difficult once uh, once you connected uh, it may not be okay hello guys today hello guys today we are going to see some basic electronics first of all let's look at what is a breadboard breadboard is a rectangular board in which you can able to place the components temporarily that means you are not fixing the components by soldering it anytime you can able to unplug the component and change the position you can even use the same uh, breadboard for many projects also because since they are not permanently fixed the commands are not permanently fixed if any error uh, errors are caused or if any uh, wrong you have made a wrong connection you can just take it from there and correct uh, can be connected to the correct positions while using a small circuit this is fine because small circuit are uh, less number of components and they are they are required also less number of wires too so you can able to identify where you connected where you got mistake all these things but the problem causes when you have a very large circuit very large circuit has maybe hundred or thousands of many components along with it wires will be there so you find very difficult to connect sometimes one component with the other sometimes the connection may be loose too that you couldn't be able to identify in such a big big circuit so using of a breadboard is not a good solution for a big circuit and you can find here the connections of wires this all make the circuit uh, the board bulky heavy and very and uh, uh, ugly manner so here comes the pcb so while seeing the image over the left that is uh, the components are connected using a breadboard and the image over the right we can identify the difference the image over the right is neatly placed means all the components are placed very neatly and the wires there is no wires because they are, these are these commands are connected internally but on the left it is very difficult to identify if any error causes and since they are not permanently connected they 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 were not a resist a resistance to shock or these things but here or the pcb when you're using a pcb these components are placed permanently that is they are soldered permanently and they are tightly fixed so hope you understood why we are using a pcb so this is a circuit a big circuit so that usually involves large number of wires you find that this thing it's a messy thing you, you when you when you do this if any uh, uh, if any component could fail you will find very difficult to remove a component or uh, 
there is mind mind be a chance to get short circuit short circuit too so circuit using pcb will be a neat one like this and there will be a markings for every components to how to place and what is its polarity and what is the value of the resistor that you have to keep all will be written inside a printed circuit board since they are permanently connected they are resistance they have a resistance to shock and you find this thing is very neatly arranged and there is a very very less chance for short circuit compared to that of a breadboard next we are going to discuss about pcb in detail so coming to the composition that is uh, how I, how what are the layers of a pcb it has mainly four layers the base layer is the substrate layer the second layer is the copper layer and the third layer is solder mask and the topmost layer is silk screen the base layer is mainly provided for supporting the components so that layer is known as substrate layer it is mainly made up of fiber glass like fr4 so this is this layer is not uh, only for supporting the components so they are not conductive in nature next layer is the copper layer this layer is conductive layer in pcb through which the electricity conducts between one component to the other component you can see strips of copper here and so the components are connected through these strips uh, this is the internal connection that inside the pcb the next layer is a solder mask this is a layer which is placed above the copper layer and is usually uh, provided to protect the copper layer from oxidation as well as from short circuiting so the presence of this layer avoid any other connection with the met uh, other metallic connection metallic uh, contact so short circuit won't happen so for this reason solder mask layer is provided and you find the green color in pcb so this green color in pcb is mainly due to the uh, solder mask the last layer is the silk screen so this silk screen is mainly provided to make the markings on the pcb about the polarity of the components that you need to place on the pcb and uh, some values its uh, magnitude of the component that you need about uh, sometimes it's uh, about the resistance Sometimes about the capacitance, then uh, how to fix the components. So those markings will be all be written in silk screen. So that's the top layer. So we have gone through all four layers. Now we are going to discuss about what are the different types of PCB. So based on layers, we have three types of PCB. The first is single layer PCB. Single layer PCB means it has only one layer of copper. Next is double layer of PCB. It has two layers of copper layer. The main difference between a single layer PCB as well as double layer PCB is that one I said uh, uh, it has only one layer of PCB, one layer of uh, copper layer. The other have two layer of copper layer. Other than that, you can place your components only one side in case of single layer PCB. And in case of double layer PCB, you can able uh, you can able to place the components on both the sides and single layer is pcb is usually small in size means its thickness is small and small compared to that of a double layer pcb the next type of pcb is multi layer pcb it means that it has more than two layers of conductive layers so it is mainly used in case of advanced purpose based on flexibility we have mainly rigid pcb flexi flexible pcb as well as flex rigid pcb rigid pcb can see it's rigid type board board type pcb flexible pcb like a flexible in nature flexi rigid pcb it will be hard. some portion will be rigid and other portion will be flexible in nature do you know that is what advantage of a pcb think about it So very first disadvantage is that once it is created, it can only be only be used for that circuit only. Second, 
they are not suitable for conducting heavy currents the third one is while you are connecting the components in the pcp you 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 use a solder ion to connect it solder ion that's a device tool that you use to uh, solder the components in the pcp for permanently permanently so if you pay, place the solder ion for a long time it might overheat the component and it create damages so this is one of the disadvantages in the case disadvantages in the case of manufacturing of a pcb so make sure don't place your solder ion for a long time that might cause damage to your component so guys you have a question why we are use uh, why the pcb is a green in color so the green color of pcb is mainly due to the solder mask layer which is giving the pcb its green color now we have covered about the difference between the pcb as well as the breadboard and uh, what are the advantages or why pcb is preferred over that of a breadboard all these things now we are going to get into protest so protest is a simulation software mainly developed by lab center electronics for electrical as well as electronic circuit design it's a software containing schematic simulation as well as pcb design that means first you are going to build a circuit that means you are going to design a circuit that is that is schematic simulation and you are testing also whether it's working correctly or not after you designed your circuit you will make its pcb what you seen in earlier earlier slides that pcb board like that board you can able to make inside the protest this that is the pcb design and you can able to view the pcb that you made inside the protest by using a 3d visualizer so these are the stages that you you need to follow while you are making a pcb from start so hope you understood this video next section will be a hands on section on pcb so everyone make sure you have installed protest 8 on your system thank you